Hello, and welcome to another lesson in Sage uh, ERP X3. In today's lesson, we're going to take a look at how to run two useful inquiries from the financials menu in Sage. The first inquiry that we're going to look at is how to run the trial balance inquiry. And the second inquiry is to how to run the journal entry inquiry. So to access these inquiries in the system, we're going to start by coming over to our uh, navigator icon. And from the pop-up window, we're going to go to financials, then to inquiries, then to this option right here for account balances. When we click on account balances, that in part will uh, tunnel us into this trial balance inquiry. Then from here, we have a couple different uh, filters that we can set. The first one up at the top being the company upon which we want to run the statement. We can specify if there's multiple financial sites within the company, one can filter based upon the financial site. If the organization has multiple ledgers, you can choose the ledger upon which the results should be returned. Then you can also specify the date range over which you want to analyze the activity. So once all these filters have been set, we can come up here in the upper right hand corner and click on the search button. And that will return our account balances to the grid. All right. So a couple things to note um, when you're reading these results. So it gives you a chronological list by GL account number. You'll notice in here that these first two columns here represent the beginning balance for the account based upon the date range you specified. If the beginning balance is a debit, it'll present itself in this first column. If the beginning balance of the account is a credit, it'll present itself in this next column. The next two columns here will show you the debit activity of the period as well as the credit activity for the period. The next two columns after that in part will show you if the net activity per the period is a debit, it'll present itself in this column. If the net activity for the period specified is a credit, that balance will show up in this third column from the right. Then the last two columns um, in the inquiry will present you with the ending balance. So again, if the ending balance carries a debit balance, it'll present itself in this column. If the ending balance is a credit, it'll present itself in this column. All right. So another couple useful notes within the inquiry is if one wishes to tunnel down and get additional measures of detail behind what make up these balances, you can go to the uh, action button at the start of the row and click on it, then pop over to this option for account. And that in part will tunnel you over to the account inquiry where one is able to see all the individual uh, GL transactions that make up the balance for the period. If one wished to conduct further analysis from into these entries, like once again, you can click the action button at the start of the row then come to this option here for journal then that in part will tunnel you into the journal entry that makes up the charge to circle back to the account balance inquiry we'll go ahead and click the close page and click it again all right so one final note about this account balance inquiry you can also export the results out into Microsoft Excel. Um, there's a couple different ways through which you can do that. Um, one of them is to click this action button in the upper right hand corner. Then you can choose the Excel export. Alternatively, if you click the action button in the upper right hand corner here, you can also ac uh, access an Excel export through there. When you uh, run that inquiry, that in part will return to your results out in Microsoft Excel. And from there, you can conduct additional analysis. So that is the trial balance account inquiry. 
Uh, the other inquiry, as it relates to the journal entry details, that inquiry is also found under the Financials Inquiries block, but it's going to be this inquiry here titled Entries. So when you access the Entries inquiry, that in part will direct you into this screen. And from within here, once again, you can specify the legal company that you want to return the results on. You can specify the uh, ledger, as well as the accounting date range over which you wish to return the act the results. One should also note up under the criteria button in the upper right hand corner that gives you some additional filters upon which you can um, return the results. Uh, for instance, if one um, only wanted to return those in, in or those uh, journal entries that correlate to a certain system activity, one can come into the type field so, for instance, if I only wanted to return the activity associated with stock movements, I could go ahead and choose my uh, NASTK uh, document type accordingly. Then that would serve to, again, filter my results set. Okay. So, within here, we go ahead and run our search. All the details are returned herein. Then, much like the account balance inquiry, I have the capability to tunnel into the support for these entries by clicking the action button at the start of the row and then tunneling to my journal option. Okay, so again, those are two of the popular financial inquiries within the SAGE system, being the account balance or trial balance inquiry, as well as, well as the journal entry inquiry. Thanks again for joining us here today and tune in again soon for more uh, educational videos on Sage ERPX3.